Now, following an alleged incident of racism at the Hoor School, Jan Falun in Ranfantine a week ago, Gauteng Education MEC Panyas and Sufi returns to the school today. In addition to racism allegations at the school, a teacher has also been suspended after sexual harassment allegations were reported. The Sufi is expected to meet parents following a rained-out meeting on Thursday evening. It's anticipated that he will provide a way forward for the school. ENCA's reporter Pulele Shwiti Jones is following the story and joins us now. Good afternoon, Pule. We understand the MEC is possibly expected around 4 p.m. Have the par parents in fact arrived and they ha have you interacted with any of them at this point? Well, what we've seen now is that we've seen a handful of parents who have began to arrive at the at the school to try and get some clarity and answers on the way forward as to how the school will be, of course, administered um, going forward. Particularly because after what we saw, um, where you know parents remain divided on racial lines due to the racism that has taken place um, here at the school, which many have said is one of the reasons that has sparked so much outrage as to um, you know the learners being asked to. Stay stay at home uh, while, you know, uh, the investigations are carried out. We also do understand the South African Human Rights Commission is also probing the issues around what has been going on here at school. But there's still a lot that has been happening. Parents are saying that they were not quite happy with the delay from the MEC last week, um, which also, again, there was a lot of, you know, tensions that were charged between some of the black parents and the white parents as well who were here at the school. So there's quite a lot that has to be said. They're expecting that the MEC will provide some sort of clarity as to how the policies of the school can be revisited and as to pupils most importantly can then you know be allowed to go back to the classes without the their calendar being disrupted so it will be a handful of you know issues that the premier will be expected um, to address in Fundo, particularly around the issues of let's just, like, just like you've mentioned the issue of sexual misconduct and of course allegations of racism that have been brewing here in the school Mm -hmm. No, it's certainly a very disturbing one. I mean, last week we even saw the parents themselves clashing, let alone just the children, with that incident where we had the MEC actually addressing the children to refrain from conducting themselves in that manner as they were. But with the parents now, have there been any clashes, even though it's a handful, or they've been fairly decent and cordial towards, towards each other? Well, for now, you know, it's just, you know, calm scenes that we're seeing right here. Um, uh, apart from that, we also see a couple of police vans here who I think are, you know, here to monitor what is happening. Just going to ask my colleague there, um, you know, Mohammed, just to show you just a picture of, you know, that Nyala police van and some of the officials there who are, you know, quite anticipating whatever disruptions that could be taking place to try and stop that. We saw what, what transpired previously with some of the stun grenades that were actually executed on, you know, those tensions that were brewing between the parents there. So apart from the security reasons, we do understand that they are, of course, waiting for the MEC to provide that sense of clarity as to what can be the way forward and how this issue can be curbed um, from ever happening again. This is not um, an issue that has happened at this particular cool school here in Jan Fulyun in Ranfontein, um, Fundo, one must say. These are issues that continue to persist in some of the high schools that we don't even know that have been reported about. So it seems like a scope of challenges that the MEC will have to provide. Him and his task team, of course, will have to see how they can try and stop some of these issues which are seemingly disrupting school programs and, of course, dividing um, some of the pupils in their various schools. Mm, no, Pule, we just hope that that report back session will progress peacefully. Thank you very much. We'll touch base a bit later on. That's our reporter, Pule Lishwiti-Jones.